scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I receive, I manifest your power and your will. Whether or not you can see it, there is always something before you, a greater today, a greater tomorrow. In God's economy, 2024 should be by far, by far greater than 2023. Can I prophesy over someone? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, by December this year, you will stand shedding tears of joy because of the mighty things that God would have done in your life for someone though your beginning be small let me speak to you there is a grace that lifts men right from where they are to the place of grace and glory i speak that to your life i speak that to your finances i speak that to your ministry i speak that to your health in the name of jesus christ hear me god can make men great oh I hope you believe that it is within his power to make men great so an ordinary man supposedly nobody who is seated here whether inside or outside no one may know you now but that by December all men are looking for you I'm not entertaining you oh I say to whoever has the grace to believe in the name of Jesus may my God place something on your head this night May my God place an unction upon your head this night. It will compel nations to call for you. It will compel territories to seek you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Mark chapter 1 and verse 37, the Bible says Jesus departed to a solitary place to pray after the exploits of his crusades. Mark 1, 37. The Bible says, and they began to look for him and when they found him they said unto him all men seek for thee there are graces when you carry some men will seek for you there are graces when you carry your tribes men will seek for you there are graces when you carry poor men will seek for you there are graces when you carry troublemakers will seek for you but there are graces when you carry all men all men means kings all men mean nobles all men include strangers that do not know you hallelujah 
Do you believe this? Everything that is a covering cast over you that will not allow the glory of God to be revealed in the name of Jesus. I came by the anointing of the Spirit. I tear it like a veil. I tear it like a veil over your help them please. I tear it like a veil. I tear it like a veil in the name of Jesus. I say it to you again every covering cast of darkness over your life that will not let the glory of God be revealed. I came by fire and I came with power this night. Let it be torn in the name of Jesus. Remember ye not the former things. Everything that stopped you from rising last year and made the year look as if you were cursed. I don't know what it is called, but in the name of Jesus, everything that is not of the Christ, you have watched it hold people down and will not let them go forward. I stand like Moses and I declare this year, go forward. I push you by prophecy. Go forward. Go forward. Advance. Help that gentleman. Go forward. Excel. Excel in ministry. I place an anointing upon you. Excel in business. Excel in family. Excel in the name of Jesus. Where you have been deserted so that no man will pass through you. I call you an eternal excellency. Hear me in the name of Jesus. The anointing for speed. I place that anointing on you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I release that grace. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in destiny. Speed in career. May my God take 10 years and put it in one year. 10 years and put it in one year. I'm hearing in my spirit shame. I don't know who that is for shame everything that has looked like shame is like a mark on your head everywhere you go it attracts shame I don't know who this word is for but in the name of Jesus that cause of shame be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now shame and reproach in ministry be broken now shame and reproach in business career failure be broken now I want you to pray a prayer and then we'll continue say in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to advance grace to go forward open your mouth and begin to pray grace grace to advance you are gaining momentum in the spirit don't be silent pray grace to advance this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching for the things that are before me. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated for a minute. Give us Philippians chapter 3 again. 
I want you to look at verse 14 very carefully. Verse 14. The power of God is mighty in this place. You came to church tonight. How will you go back the same? No. No. For God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. I'm hearing a prophetic word for someone. It's one word, again. 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 Again is a prophetic word. This is not the first time I'm hearing it in a meeting. It's the word again. I am coming to you again. You are rising again. Ah. What you once held that left you by carelessness. Again. God is bringing it again. It's not for everyone but I'm saying it to someone you lost opportunities relationships resources my God is bringing it again restoring again lifting you again giving you visibility again please be seated I'm seeing fire fall. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing fire fall. Oh, let it fall. Let it fall. Let it give you wings in the spirit. Wings to fly, wings to soar, wings to fly, wings to soar in the name of Jesus. Holy, holy, blessed is he. Who comes in the name of our God? Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Blessed is he who comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let's tidy this up. The time we have. But I want you to be sensitive. Something is happening to your spirit, man. Listen. You see, you must learn to discern spiritual atmospheres. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. There are two ladies I'm seeing in the choir right now. I just saw fire just coming on them. Two of you, in the name of Jesus. I don't know what that impartation is for. But may that grace cause you to ascend in the spirit. Ascend in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. hallelujah i know we're discussing along the lines of the team but the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a man of god and the lord is saying his gift to you tonight is the spirit of revelation you have been praying you have been crying this is a minister of the gospel wherever that man is whether inside or outside in the name of jesus i call upon the god that gives men the one who can open the eyes of men to see in the name of Jesus like the dew of Hammon may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now am I wasting your time I just sense that God is beginning to I was to teach something now but I just sense there is a stirring. 
Someone's fasting has touched the heart of God. Someone's praying has touched the heart of God. Take it high for me, please. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me. Rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit for signs and wonders, rest on me. Rest on me, oh, 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 rest on me, oh, 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 rest on me, oh, 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 rest on me, spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Someone begin to pray, rest on me, Abalika to Sarabalata, rest on me, oh God, the power to prosper. Rest on me, the spirit of wisdom. Rest on me. Rest on me. Rest on me. Rest on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're having a little chat with Pastor, and I was just commending on the grace that God has brought and multiplied upon his life the ministry spreading across I want to release a grace for visibility if you like believe it if you like don't believe it but there is a grace that gives men visibility hear me just because you are graced and gifted does not mean the nations will hear you there are many gifted people who have been kept down. The Bible says Gideon sounded a trumpet and 33,000 people showed up. Where they came from we do not know. But there was a trumpet that they had. And they began to gravitate towards him. There is a grace that when it rests upon you, you cannot be small. No. It's true. Because many of you here, I sense in my spirit, you are faithful, you are diligent, but that grace that becomes a leverage is not there. I pray for someone here, in the name that is above all names, the grace that gives men visibility, that will cause your voice, that will cause your product, that hear ye him anointing. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Please be seated. Now what I'm about to give you are prophetic instructions. I want you to just listen to them. Instructions are enhancers to destiny manifestation. He says, my son, pay attention to my words. He says, incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of thee. They are life, not to everyone, to those who find them and health to their flesh. 
Hallelujah. Those who train pilots are not called coaches. They are called instructors. Because they give them direct precepts. If you keep with it, you will soar in the air. You compromise, you may crash in a moment. Hallelujah. And the Lord gave me this just to encourage you on this over dwelling on the past. And then the next is a rundown of a few prophetic instructions. Let me just walk with the time that I have and then I finally speak over your life. Honestly, this is the year your life will really produce results. You see, when you hear words like this, don't get used to entertainment on TV and just believe everybody who is speaking is entertaining. No. Gabriel looked at Zechariah and said, I am Gabriel that came from the presence of God. Find out where men are coming from before you vet what they are saying. No. Not everybody is a joker. I say it again. In the name of Jesus, the one who called an anointed man, the one who has so given us graces this year, 2024 may my God surprise you may my God surprise you may my God surprise you you believe what you are hearing let's get a few prophetic instructions and then we'll pray thank you Jesus Just hold for me now the person who shouts loud under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. You just hold them so that they don't run around. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Spirit of wisdom. Rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me. Rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me. Rest on me. Let your power for signs and wonders. Rest on me. Rest on me, oh, 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 rest on me, oh, oh, oh rest on me. Oh. There is a young man here. Please just allow me to do my thing. The Spirit of God keeps prevailing over me. There is a young man here. You have not started ministry yet, but this year. There is an anointing that has been searching for you. You have been quiet walking in the spirit. You are in this place. The Lord is asking me to speak that grace over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, for that young man, silent in the cave of Adulam, being walked upon by the spirit, let this anointing that will begin to announce you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, Paris Kanishalaka Pariata. Ebra kate bareke skatina skabai karia shabareke pariata ele kate fresca bene kapai krige bete kape kata kapariata ebra teks kape e tras kape ta kariata kapri kapus kariata may you arise and shine by the spirit of grace may you arise and shine by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone who is full of faith, begin to pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me 
my glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Say after me as loud as you can. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that my life will be a revelation of the glory of God. I receive by faith all your promises for me. Go ahead and begin to pray. I receive. Someone is praying. I receive in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that when we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I receive by faith. Go ahead and pray. Divine health, speed, favor, lifting by the power of the Holy Ghost. Online pray. Outside pray. Man of God, pray. Businessman, pray. Worshippers, pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I'm just going to speak over the sick. I feel stirred in my heart to pray. We may not have time to take the testimonies. But you can take that, you know, on Sunday you can come and testify. But I want to pray, particularly for the sick. And then I want to speak the favor of God over your life. And then we'll do the prayer. There are many things to pray for, but these two things. Your body and then to program a climate of favor over you. Many people have disrespected the power of the prophetic. You will be joking. Just because there are abuses and imbalances does not mean you throw away the prophetic ministry. It's an advantage that God gave us. We transit realms. We are changed upon the power of prophecy. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick now. Listen to me. The revelation behind healing is God's commitment to preserve your body and to give you the vitality needed to serve him and to represent him it's important you understand this when the sick are healed is beyond an attestation that a man of god is anointed no god's goal is way bigger than that it is god's commitment towards giving you sustained vitality it says they that be planted in the house of god it says they will flourish in the courts of our god that even in old age they will be fat and flourishing it then means that if you tolerate infirmity and sickness of any kind and any sort in your body it is your participation with darkness to cut short your life every manifestation of sickness is death being administered in a measure and according to the pattern of how satan works when he touches an area and you allow him unrestrained he will move further this is what he did to the church the early church the bible says herod made a commitment to vex certain jews and they caught james and beheaded james and the church kept quiet when he saw that it pleased the people the bible said he proceeded further satan touches your health you are quiet he proceeds further to your children proceeds further to your finances but then when we get to verse 5 the church became angry the bible says while he was waiting so that when you know the feast was over the bible says the church came together but prayer was made by the church unto god for him 
and angels came to the rescue the same angels that rescued peter were available to rescue james father in the name of jesus i lay my hands by faith upon everyone who is sick in their bodies i'm seeing people lift medical reports i'm seeing people lifting photos of their loved ones i wanted to connect by faith i'm about to speak to you now the bible says by his stripes we were healed peter said the spirits that are at the back of every infirmity here represented in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god we take authority over those spirits now shout a believing amen now shout a believing amen now every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing god's people i decree and i declare that you give way now and i minister the life and the power of jesus to your body i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now my god be healed now eye conditions be healed now blood conditions of any kind and any sort be healed now bone conditions be healed now i tell you i sense such a strong anointing of the spirit of god i'm praying for someone who has a severe pain around your ankle in the name that is above all names be healed this moment there is a lady your left eye you are seeing please help them in the name of jesus i'm seeing you have severe pain when you look it's like you are look you are, you are seeing an object your left eye the power of god is touching you right now i bring you life i bring you healing in the name of jesus i've seen these kinds of conditions many times and the lord is asking me to announce it again you are a lady your circle happens twice a month it is very irregular it comes with excruciating pain the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ i cast that devil from your body all kinds of growths fibroids lumps i declare they die now in the name of jesus christ you're having severe pain especially at the left side of your neck when you turn it this happened when you woke up one morning i'm praying for you now the power of god is touching you this moment i don't know what hospital is in garki but i'm seeing someone in a hospital there and the power of god is touching that person right now garki a hospital there in the name that is above all names let there be a miracle for you right now let there be a miracle for you right now i'm seeing a woman sit on a chair and holding a child this child should be about maybe four five years he has autism autism this is what is wrong with that child this is a woman from united kingdom you are sitting with your child he has autism let the power of god touch that child now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you are having problems with your knee your knee particularly your kneecap you're not able to bend this way not without pain the power of god is touching you right now the lord is showing me a lady you had a dream in that dream you saw yourself breastfeeding a baby from the time you woke up you've been having excruciating pain particularly the right side of your breast i cause that spirit right now i cause that spirit right now lumbar spondylosis be healed peptic ulcer be healed migraine headaches be healed i say it again migraine headaches be healed i command cancer to die sugar diabetes be healed pile the lord is healing someone from pile painful pile be healed in jesus name i'm seeing somebody having recurrent malaria 
recurrent it keeps coming you treat it it comes you treat it i command that spirit to give way now in the name of jesus christ there's someone having your heart is not palpitating but you are having breathing problems if you lie down in a room you know how an asthma patient is you don't have asthma but this thing affects your breathing i'm seeing sometimes you stand close to the window so you are able to breathe enough air i want to pray for you anything wrong with your veins and your arteries that the devil is programming death no matter what it is called i curse it now by the god of heaven in the name of jesus heart palpitations be healed lupus be healed rheumatoid arthritis be healed in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me a man i'm seeing a man sitting you are beginning to have the initial stages of prostate cancer in the name that is above all names wherever you are whether you are here or following online by the god that we serve we call prostate by its name and we cause cancer by the god of heaven in the name of jesus the lord is ministering to me there is a lady you're not you're not you don't have a child but you are lactating you're lactating you don't have a child this is something you've gone to the hospital for in the name of jesus the son of the living god let that satanic occurrence come to an end now memory loss i'm hearing memory loss memory loss you forget things this is beginning to affect you in your place of work in the name of jesus i speak to you you have the mind of christ you have the mind of christ you have the mind of christ the lord is asking me to speak over someone i'm ministering healing but every time something good is about to happen you go to bed and you have a dream some person will come to molest you and the moment you wake up whether it's a job or some opportunity it just leaves in the name of jesus the son of the living god we severe you from the influence of those spirits in the name of jesus christ there is a couple the lord is asking me to minister to the problem affecting fertility is the man this is a problem that is common to men and yours is an acute problem you need a miracle this is not something drugs or supplement can correct you are not able to get your wife pregnant i want you to believe that the power of god is in this place god who quickened the body of abraham that isaac came even by natural means let that power that raised christ from the dead quicken your mortal body now quicken your mortal body now quicken your mortal body now i'm hearing a name zuera this is a name that i'm hearing zuera this should be another name in the name of jesus i pray for that person whether here or online every infirmity i'm saying this is something that has to do with your heart by the power that raised christ from the dead i bring you life and healing life and healing life and healing life and healing there is a woman god is asking me to pray for we're wrapping up um although this woman is on the big side it is not because of her weight that she's having mobility problems i'm seeing that there is a problem just right here i'm literally feeling the pain from here i'm not a medical doctor i might not be able to give it all the explanation needed but in the name of jesus that pain at your right side is affecting mama's mobility as the church of the lord jesus christ we cause that pain now we cause that pain now we cause that pain now hearing problems be healed now speech problems be healed now i feel set up in my heart to just speak this is not word of knowledge but it's just out of an information i know particularly around europe the case of mental health and autism these two cases is plaguing children 
particularly in their teenage we stand in faith right from here we are speaking to the nations but particularly we release our faith over the children in europe from nigeria to europe extending to canada america this plague this spirit of mental health destroying people at their productive years we call it by name and we curse it by the god of heaven we curse it by the god of heaven in the name of jesus christ can i declare favor over you truly there is a grace called favor i want you to convince yourself that there is such a grace and it can rest upon a man it brings systems and structure under pressure and compels men to treat you with benevolence with kindness there are three biblical indices to measure the presence of favor number one unusual kindness when the grace for favor is on you men related and unrelated they are compelled by this grace to show you unusual kindness number two is unusual acceptance acceptance beyond the prejudices of tribe race gender this is what happens when you receive the grace for favor number three is unusual access access this is how you know that the favor of god has rested upon you the bible says watch this now it says in esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the b part says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 says and the king loved esther more than all the virgins he now placed a royal apparel upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty psalms 44 and verse 3 they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arms save them but thou O lord and thy right hand the light of your countenance because thou hast a favor towards them i pray for you standing in partnership with the grace upon the angel in this house i decree and declare from the transforming church to all those who are connected i stand as a privileged steward of this grace in the name that is above all names let this grace for favor let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now unusual access let it rest upon you from the depth of my spirit i release that grace upon you let it work wonders in your life favor in your career favor in ministry favor in business favor in family even pharaoh must favor you help that woman in the name of jesus hear me by this prayer every door that has been closed over your life i stand upon the grace of the man of god and i speak to that door a father be open a father be open a father be open 2024 hear the word of the lord be open now when jesus was born even as a baby with no ability to help himself that grace spoke and the magi right from where they were the bible says these were adults and they carried gifts of gold of frankincense and myrrh they were taking it to a baby not an adult i'm praying for you again this is an advantage we have in the kingdom may favor rest upon you and let it begin to speak from this night in the name of jesus favor that brings establishment favor that connects you to strategic men in the name of jesus ministers of the gospel let favor bring helpers for you help us of the war in the name of jesus christ this year i forbid you from being alone i forbid you from crying alone in the name of jesus the grace that helped hagar in the desert 
Hagar was crying together with her baby and when God spoke to her she looked and saw an oasis springing forth I declare the oasis that must spring from your desert let it begin now can we pray I'm going to request um, since we're praying on it together is that fine Reverend Sam okay please let me request the ushers please bring the prayer requests and then please bring it can you guys pour it here can you bring them all here let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me spirit of wisdom rest on me let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me hallelujah in Jesus name Amen I'd like you to just place your right hand on your head as you pray right now and let me say this the first person to ever walk up to me I say Reverend Sam there's a grace for cross-cultural influence on you was Pastor Kunle Shorion the second person was Apostle Selman recognizing that grace God has been so merciful we can't even share things in the public the Bible say he is the one that bust your confinements from today whatsoever is the reason for your confinement it is over I say the Lord bust your confinements servant of God the Lord bust your confinements inside and outside the Lord bust your confinements single lady single man the Lord bust your confinements I decree and declare from today your branches will begin to spread over the walls you are uncontainable from today you are unstoppable from today you are irresistible from today you begin to spread out you begin to move out you begin to advance begin to advance break barriers break limitations break obstacles move higher move forward advance progress flourish thrive locally and internationally go to the nations go to the nations your doors are open your gates are open your gates are open in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen to me please listen the greatest way and the most potent way to transfer graces is through words 
Hallelujah. Words. He said, if you had known of the dispensation of the oh, grace that yes, was given Lord, unto yes. me for you, word. Given to me for you. I want to release the grace for visibility. Listen to me. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2. My God. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass. If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe and to do all that I command you this day. It says that you shall be exalted above all. Not some all the nations of the earth from tonight like a candle that has been lit i forbid you from remaining small yes. i forbid you from remaining small may that grace for visibility rest upon you access to the nations of the earth access to the hearts of kings in the name of jesus right. hallelujah when Saul met with Samuel, yes. three things happened. Samuel said, is it not because the Lord has anointed yes. you to be a captain over his inheritance? I pray for you, the anointing that makes you a captain. The Bible calls it an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows. May that grace rest upon you now. And Samuel told Saul, he said, as you return, the first thing is restoration that the donkey that has been missing would have been back home yeah. we prophesy that everything you have lost in 2023 we decree and declare let it be a balance brought forward for you yes. in the mighty name of Jesus I speak restoration yes. I speak restoration yes. I speak restoration yes. number two he said you will meet with three men uh, yeah, yeah. each of them holding two loaves yes, they will salute you and they will give, they will to, you. give to you and he says of them receive yes where are your helpers of hey! destiny we decree and declare yes, from january to december 2024 enjoy the ministry of destiny help us yes enjoy the ministry of destiny yes! help us Number three, it says you will come to the garrison of the Philistines and that the Spirit of God will come upon you and you will begin to prophesy. Yes. I pray for you, yes. the unction that turns you to another man, hey. another man in hey. business, another man in ministry, yes. another man in worship, yes. another man in family another life. Man. Let that grace rest upon you. Yes. The grace that makes Abraham, Abraham. Hey! The grace that makes Sarai, Sarah. The grace that makes Sipha, Peter. The grace that makes Jacob, Israel. The grace to become another man. Receive it in Jesus' name. Yes! My God. Can I request, before we pray on the request here, yes. can you stretch your hands towards us? The Bible says that God will bless the works of your hands. Ah. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Listen, Job said in the days of my youth, ah. when his light, his candle was upon my tabernacle, yes. you see, there were two kinds of light that Job had. One upon his head and another upon his path. Yes. The one on his head was for illumination. The one on his path was for direction. And the benefit of the light upon his head was seen in the works of his hands. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus, yes. we release our faith. Yes. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing. Nothing dies in your hands. Yes. Let blessing meet blessing on your hands. Hey. May the Lord make your hands strong. Yes. May the Lord prosper the works of your yes. hands in the name of Jesus. Yes. My God. Stretch your hands in this direction, Father. I lift up this request before you. And we ask that you who answers prayer will answer every prayer here. Grant your children their heart's desires. Amen. Let the sick be healed. Amen. Let your doors be open. Return with testimonies of liftings. 
your promotion comes early your visa granted early your project is finished early the land enters your hands what you've been waiting for receive your request is granted your request is granted your joy coming now your doors are open your favor is granted rise to the next level rise to the next level enter your next dimension be supernaturally married i decree increase on every side multiplication no more delays no more delays no more affliction no more reproach it is done hallelujah please allow me release one more grace before we are done the greatest investment of the spirit upon my life is the grace for encounters my god the bible says blessed is the man that god causes to approach him you see if all we receive are just things we did not receive much there is a grace that compels men you see hunger is a gift ah. hunger is proof of health you're about to receive something very heavy right now the first thing that happens when a, an individual is sick is the loss of appetite you use the loss of appetite as a layman's way of diagnosing the presence of sickness that means when you lose spiritual hunger is a sign that something is wrong and there are people because of the vicissitudes of life because of the the challenges the wear and tear of life many here have lost their passion passion for the things of god passion for prayer passion for fasting passion for the word they've lost touch with consecration they've lost touch with all that makes men mighty we stand in agreement and we pray for you in the name that is above all names yes, Lord. Yes. fire from heaven hey! that reignites your prayer life yes fire from heaven fire that reignites your word study yes. life fire from heaven yes that reignites your passion yes. for god receive it now hey! receive it now hey! receive hunger yes hunger for oh, church yes hunger for god hey! hunger for the things of god hey! hunger for the study of hey! the word hunger for prayer hey! in the name of jesus hey! that regardless the level you have attained in the spirit yes lord i plant in you from tonight a holy dissatisfaction hey! Uh, let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray hey. let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray hey. let it drive you to study hey. let it drive you to give hey. in the name of jesus hey. if reverend sam would lend me one more minute yes. i want to cause mm. the spirit of greed and connection to material things this may look like an unnecessary prayer but listen carefully there are many who do not have because god knows that if he gives them it will have them. oh my god are we together yes my god. god fights everything that takes his place even if he's the one who gave you materialism is not having materials materialism is getting to a point where you exalt materials to be the god in your life replacing the position of the christ and this is the tragedy of many believers ministry can become an idol hey. yes sir preaching can become an idol business can become an idol nothing in itself destroys until it is connected to a heart condition that exalts it above god i want to pray by this prayer a circumcision will happen to someone listen there are many of you god wants to prosper you he wants to open doors but you see 
the hindrance to your becoming and to your entering the next level is not necessarily demonic is that there is a heart condition God wants to prepare so that when the billions and the millions come when the exaltation and the increase comes you will remember the Lord your God that's what he told the people I pray for you every mundane connection to things that has made you exalt money position titles above and beyond the Christ we dethrone it now we dethrone it now we dethrone it now every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome finally i declare before i let reverend sam continue by this time next year gilgal 2025 except if you don't plan to be alive but for as long as you plan to be alive i prophesy to you return 10 times better return 10 times better spiritually financially yes. career wise yes. the 10 times better anointing yes. let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus hey. give Jesus a big hand of hand clap ah. Come and manifest your power. Did they oh did they oh hey oh God of signs and wonders save your redeemer come and manifest your power did they oh oh God of signs and wonders save your redeemer come and manifest your power Come and manifest your power. Come and show forth your power. Elijah said, let the God that answers by fire, let him be the God. Even if you do not know his name, wait for his power. Come and manifest your power. Listen, in construction, we have very major construction companies. And there are times you can know a block that was made by, you know, just some well-meaning person and one that was made by a serious construction company. And sometimes when you see certain blocks, they are almost casted like concrete. They pour them down and yet they don't break before you see to verify what company you just know that whatever this company is it has to be a solid company to have produced this you can use the works of god to verify that he is there so when moses went to pharaoh pharaoh said he said thus said the lord god of the hebrews that is not a name let my people know The heal Beelzebub did certain things but there are certain things Satan cannot do when you know the extent this is Paul's prayer that you understand the extent of his power so every time you say God like Lazarus if you were here our brother would not have died but she said even now someone prophesied even now Ah, God, you didn't do it last year because in his economy, there is no such thing as delay. He can come, he can ah. come and manifest your power. Dideo. Come and manifest your power. Come and manifest your power. Oh, God of signs and wonders. Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Dideo. One more time, oh God. Oh 
of signs and wonders. Savior, come and manifest your power. I truly believe that there are people here that what God will begin to do in your life. There are people who had no names in the Bible, but they were described by the spectacular manifestations of the hand of God upon their life. Are we together? Who was born blind? I mean, why was this man? Who seen that this man was born blind? Him or his father? Jesus said, that's not the issue. Now is an opportunity for the glory of God to be made manifest. The first miracle recorded in scripture, according to John's synoptic account, is found in John chapter 2. Hallelujah. The wedding in Cana of Galilee. By the time we get to verse 5, the Bible says, Mary called the people and said, Whatsoever he tells you to do, do. Then we get to verse 10. Give us verse 10. The Bible says, This beginning of miracles. Verse, okay, 11 now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Galilee, Cana of Galilee, and manifested his glory, and the disciples believed on him. This beginning, he didn't stop there. Then by the time we go to John chapter 20 and verse 30, give it to us please. John chapter 2 begins the miracles. John chapter 20 and verse 30 and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book 31. He says but these are written that he might believe. You can believe in Jesus by seeing a demonstration of his power. Anytime people say, where is your God? Don't answer them. Let your results answer. Your results are better speakers. Come and manifest your power. Dideo, dideo. Manifest your power. You manifest your power. Can I tell you, a cry to see the power of God in your life is a valid cry. Ask the psalmist, oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul longs after you as in a dry and a weary land. He said to see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. I shouldn't just see your power in church alone. I need to import that reality to my home, to my business, to my health. chapter 4 and verse 33 please give it to us and with great power the bible says gave the apostles witness acts 4 33 of the resurrection of the lord jesus and great grace was upon how many all not preachers all not just businessmen all it takes great power acts chapter 10 and verse 38 Peter was speaking in the house of Cornelius. He said, how God and Jesus of Nazareth, he was the word incarnate, but he still needed power with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about. Don't go about with just compassion. You'll be disappointed. You need to have beyond compassion. Power. Holy Ghost power. Rest on me. Rest on me. Oh, oh, oh. Rest on me, oh, rest on me, oh, rest on me, the Holy Ghost power, rest on me, let your power for signs and wonders, rest on me, rest on me, let your power for signs and wonders, rest on me rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me holy ghost power rest on me thou shall remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee Jerusalem 
until you be endued with power. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran. He ran. We don't run just by intention. It is based on what comes upon us. That's what drives you to run. Power from on high. Power from on high. Power from on high. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in all your ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies will submit themselves to you. It says, our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Please listen to me. When you call God El Shaddai, it is a revelation that many people do not understand. The literal translation is the multi-breasted one. It's not a very accurate translation, but it's an attempt to describe the extent of sufficiency. Hallelujah. The multi-breasted one. That means there is no limitation to his ability to supply. Are we together now? When a woman gives birth to triplets or quadruplets, two have to be patient if she's breastfeeding them. Not because she's wicked, she's limited. So when the Bible calls him El Shaddai, that means within his economy, one person does not have to suffer because another person is experiencing him. Shaddai. means God can lift everyone at the same time. One person's rising does not affect another because it is El Shaddai. Are you listening now? Please, I want you to hear this. If you press to know God, his character, and then you get to understand his power, just these two dimensions alone will turn your life around. Reverend Sam is able to do what he is doing today because he has encountered these dimensions. When I sat down and I was seeing the testimonies yesterday, you know, people, not everybody is faking this thing. Oh, listen carefully to me. There are people who really love God and don't get used to, I just feel that every time you see people, miracles and all of that. No, not at all. I want you to believe this. There are people who fear God. There are people who have seen his face. Among the many things that they received is his power. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Listen, remember the assignment I've given you. I want you to go back and study Psalm 103. Study, use it tonight before you return tomorrow. Study it and destroy those negative lies the devil has told you about God. Are we together? The Lord is gracious full of compassion rich in mercy and love the lord is almighty now you study his power the extent of his power the extent of his power then you will see how small your situation is then you will believe that it is not a scam if god gives you a house tomorrow then you will believe he's not endorsing carelessness it's a system of advantage the implication of his nature that God can turn Samaria overnight to become Beulah and Hephzibah. 
Listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let's be careful in, in a bid to teach people things like the law of process and to help people grow. Let's not downplay and insult God by doubting every possibility that God can bring that is beyond the scope of man. I don't endorse laziness and carelessness, but it is a joke to believe. If you don't believe God and you are afraid, grow. But don't stop other people from, who told you God cannot bless you overnight? Listen, he will not do that to honor your carelessness. But there is a system of advantage captured in his dealing with men. And where the need arises according to your understanding, he is able to bring you into that reality. The prophet said, by this time tomorrow. It is true. Listen. If some of us were to follow the normal course of growth, we would not be one-tenth where God has placed us by grace. Did you hear what I said? So I'm saying this so that as I speak over your life, it is not a license for carelessness. It is not a license for lack of diligence. These are all together the systems in the kingdom. But there is an advantage that the believer has. Don't waste the presence of the Holy Spirit. Don't waste the supremacy of the word. Don't insult the mercy and the love and the grace of God. What then is the advantage of these things? The Bible says, wherefore are given to us exceeding great and precious promises. Listen, that by them we might be the partakers in experience of his divine nature haven't escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. God is not a fraudster that will allow people carelessly just prosper like that without engaging the principles of prosperity and growth. But you will be joking to believe that God does not assist men. Ebenezer, El Shaddai, Jaira, come on. rewarder in fact that he that cometh to God must come believing that he is then that he is the rewarder of them not all of them not all so don't be offended if you don't get it he never said he's the rewarder of all he said he's the rewarder of them if you don't get it you have not subscribed to be part of the them among the very them that receive are them that diligently seek him serving God pays did you hear what I said Loving God pays, pouring your all for him, except you are faking it somewhere. I tell you, when you pour your all with reckless abandonment, if he's the God of the Bible, in your lifetime, he will console you. Remember, you are not serving him for things. You are serving him because you love him. However, he has vowed that you would not serve him and he will leave you in shame. Could it be that there are certain things that have been shot, not by the devil? God is, is shutting it so that you don't use your mouth and your hands to damage something God is doing. The day you now agree, there are things that will open on their own. Like today, you can agree with God, I believe you. You have said I'm a man of God, a great one, I believe you. You have said I'm a Deborah to my generation. God, I do not even have the eloquence of speech. But one thing I know and I believe is that God is not a man that he should lie. You have told me I will carry the sounds of worship to the ends of the earth. This is for someone. I believe you. You have said I am Esther. Even though coming from Shushan, my destiny is to sit with Ahasuerus. I believe you. I may not see the wind. I may not see rain. Yet my valley shall be filled. Not because of the weather, but the one who controls the weather. Go ahead in one minute and begin to declare, Lord, I believe you. I believe you. Take this moment to cause unbelief from your life. We work valiant upon the strength of our encounters. But the people that do know their God in career, do know their God concerning their health, do know their God concerning their days, do know their God as touching victory over demons and principalities and powers. Do know their God concerning finances. Do know their God as touching ministry. The Bible says they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Someone go ahead and pray. You 
are a God of love. You are a God of grace. You are a God of mercy. You are a God of judgment. You are a God of compassion. Great and mighty. Powerful and awesome. Powerful indeed and awesome. All powerful. Take a minute to pray. Shake away unbelief from your life. to me please hear me when you know who God is you will believe everything he tells you when you know who God is you will be able to distinguish between his voice and the voice of doubt the voice of fear the voice of your past the voice of yesterday there is as it were many voices and the apostle says none of them is without signification this moment as I speak to you, Satan is also attempting to speak to you. 2023 is still speaking to you too. Wanting to bring his jealousy into 2024. To repeat your pain again. To repeat your misery again. Yesterday is very jealous. It seeks to reproduce itself into your today. It takes you holding the shield of... Let the redeemed of the Lord not think so. Not wish so. Not assume so. If the redeemed of the Lord says so, then the healed of the Lord will say so. The blessed of the Lord will say so. The lifted of the Lord will say so. You have been thinking so. Wonderful. But it's time to say so. Say what? What God has said. It is the word confession, homologio, to repeat as you have heard. Consistent with what he has said. Hallelujah. When men say there is a casting down, we decree and declare that there is a lifting up is that true gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising in the name of jesus where i have been deserted so that no man would pass through me i become an eternal excellency a joy of many generations the wisdom of god is at work in my spirit in the name of jesus christ going from glory to glory this is not pentecostal gibberish is how we create realities in the spirit what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them when ye pray when ye pray fervently when ye pray effectually or effectively and this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will we know that he heareth us someone pray in one minute in the name of Jesus, Sebra Keparusiata. Apareketa breka fereketas. Skaleka pareketas kabrendeke veleketa. Grace, grace, grace to pray. And this time around with passion, with fervency, and then with word compliancy. Respecting the supremacy of the word, respecting the supremacy of the will of God as revealed in scripture respecting the supremacy of the will of god as channeled through the wisdom of the spirit someone pray obtain grace obtain grace obtain grace obtain grace obtain grace
few things like little money many things like increases financial increases few things like maybe whatever it is and then many things god rewards with things i will make thee ruler over many things it says enter thou into the joy of the lord i'm praying for you whatever is needed for life and godliness i know you have loved the lord some of you love the lord in lack you love the lord in pain but whatever provision must be in place for you to enjoy god this year may my god gravitate it towards you if giving you your own house will give you the peace to serve god this year may the reward that reward you with it if giving you a greater job will be what will help you serve god well may my god make it happen for you this year if entering your marital destiny or having your children are we together or blessing your spouse anything around your family life is what will make you serve god well may my god make it happen this year and if money is what will help you serve god well that this this trauma of lack and telling lies and stealing and living a false life because of the absence of economic means if having resources will help you work in integrity to stop lying and manipulating people in the name of Jesus may my God make it happen for you please just hold those I'm seeing light now this is light just resting on people it's an impartation light I've come in the volume of the book It was written about me To do your will, O oh God I've come in the volume of the book it was written about me to do your will, O oh God. I've come in the volume. I've come in the volume of the book. It was written about me to do your will, O oh God. I've come in the volume. I've come in the volume of the book. It was written about me to do. I'll fall, I'll fall, no matter whatever may come my way. God rewards. The Bible says be steadfast, unmovable, abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that you will receive a reward from the Lord if your labor is in the Lord, if your labor is in Christ, if your prayers, if your prayers for your children, your prayers for your spouse, your giving for souls, if it is true that you are doing it in the Lord, my Bible says there is a reward. My Bible says there is a reward. Listen, please sit down. Sit down. I want you to be very sensitive. Sit down. Can I tell you? Do you know how God rewards? There are rewards that will come to you 
whose the harvest of seeds you cannot remember sowing is because someone connected to you sowed it but the person is no more but since God is just he will have to look for someone from that bloodline to and prove his faithfulness I'm saying this because there are many of you your loved ones are dead but they serve God they gave to the work of the kingdom you will marvel and wonder that God will look for you since you did not sow but because you are part of the natural descent of those people God will visit you with anointings visit you with prosperity visit you with graces in the name of Jesus Christ it is true listen it's not only causes that are transgenerational blessings are transgenerational he's called the God of Isaac the God of of um, the God of Isaac and Abraham Isaac and Jacob there is a reason why he's called that way do you believe what you are hearing ah, look when I begin to speak these prophetic words open your spirit and receive and watch the God who rewards men and watch the God who wipes tears and watch the God who takes away shame and watch the God who can end reproach in the life of people come on turn this revelation to prayer in one minute oh you will reward you will reward you are a God who does not fail you will reward to the third and fourth generation you will reward reward with power reward with good things reward with your presence in the next one minute we're going to pray as a global family be it unto us Lord we believe be it unto us everything you have said concerning 2024 from January till December we believe go ahead and pray you are holding the hands of someone we are engaging the weapon of unity and we are making faith declarations Lord we believe over January over February over March over April over May June July August September October November December 2024 we agree there will be no death no shame no mockery outside are you praying overflows are you praying koinonia global pray body of Christ those connected this is not just for koinonia it is a reality that extends to the body of Christ we can tap by faith with understanding hold the hands of someone make declarations of faith in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we decree and declare be it unto us everything you have said be it unto us that this year the profit that comes from loving you from serving you will be evidence to all and sundry we believe surprises by the spirit change of levels by the spirit mighty manifestations greater anointings by the spirit unctions by the spirit signs and wonders by the spirit extraordinary wealth and abundance by the spirit settlements of all kinds by the spirit testimonies by the spirit this we believe this we receive we believe 
Rakata Pakata Bos, Krampeta Parasco to Brenda Gatabelekata. Pray in one minute. Increases of every kind in the name of Jesus. Spiritual growth. Increase. Breaking lips and bounds by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of grace. Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Go ahead and pray. We hand over Koinonia. We hand over our Sound of Revival conferences. We hand over our global conference. We hand over every miracle service. We hand over our destinies, our health, our marriages, our finances, our children. We cannot fail. This year we experience elevations of that kind hand over your career hand over your spiritual life mother hand over your children they are safer with him than with you father hand over your family hand over your affairs don't hold it to yourself in pride you will lose and lose and lose again Hand over your business, hand over your company, hand over your job, preachers, hand over your ministry. Ala pares kote bariko shabarante sabalash, rateke bala bala kasha branda gades. Hand over your music ministry, hand over your apostolic ministry. Hand over the prophetic ministry. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. By your life now. You don't have to kneel, please stand. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed us afresh for this season and for the sake of your people. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare the grace that is behind this prophetic word, exceeding great rewards, may that grace from today begin to follow you. May that grace from today begin to follow you. Let it follow you in ministry. Let it follow you in business. Please hear me. In the name of Jesus, shame and reproach over your life. We preached on Ichabod last year. Whatever has made men to call you Ichabod, I declare like Rahab the prostitute, may God rewrite your story. Like Ruth in the Bible, may God rewrite your story. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Every long-standing testimony that you have trusted God for, let this be the year of speedy performance. The year of speedy performance. Let me prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural marriages this year. Supernatural marriages this year. Supernatural children this year. Supernatural jobs this year. Supernatural liftings this year. Supernatural restoration this year. Hear me. There are some of you here. Before we get to June, you will be so empowered. You will take care of your entire family as a single person. I say it again, my God will lift you and empower you. You will take care of everyone as a single person. There 
there are ministries here who may be small in terms of impact but in the name of Jesus as this grace comes upon you you will expand like the clouds in the sky you will expand like the clouds in the sky you will expand like the clouds in the sky can I pray for your finances if you don't believe it don't receive it but if you believe it in the name of Jesus I pray for you this year between now do you know listen thank you Jesus I just remembered something while I was praying coming I had in my spirit after four months then comes the harvest I I, I don't know how it escaped my mind hallelujah you see the you see the, the benefit of the Holy Spirit I think I, I can't remember if I wrote it or not I was praying just before I would come I kept hearing it in my spirit after four months then comes the harvest after four months then comes the harvest whatever that means to you I pray for you that in the name of Jesus literally within four months and prophetically within four months may your harvest be delivered to you may your apparatus may your harvest be delivered to you After four months, then comes the harvest. Everything that has crippled you economically, tied your hands, tied the hands of your spouse. Receive this one, oh, tied the hands of your loved ones so that you cannot rise. Rent you cannot pay. You are building you cannot complete. Children cannot go to school. I pray for you. May my God who is Ebenezer arise and wipe that shame from your tears. Wipe that shame from your eyes. Wipe that shame from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray sincerely for any man of God here who has been struggling in ministry. You love Jesus with all your heart, but there are results you have desperately prayed that they happen. I pray for you, between now and the next four months, may God surprise you. Everyone in business, hear me. I pray for you, this is your year. This is your year. This is your year. This is your year. I decree rise. I decree shine. Go and excel in business in the name of Jesus. Now hear me. All blessings come from God through man to man. I want to pray for you. Perhaps God instructed certain people to look on you with kindness last year. But the devil manipulated them into forgetting you. And he made last year Mara a bitter experience. I'm praying this year, speedily they will turn to your attention. Speedily they will turn your direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. Every time there is economic calamity, it is always connected with death. Go and read your Bible. Everywhere you see economic calamity, you will always see death connected to it. Let me pray and separate you early now from that demonic destructive spirit. I don't care what prophecy is flying around about death or otherwise. Koinonia Global, hear me. And believers, hear me. In the name of Jesus, as one sent of God and sent by God, this year you will not die. I say it again, this year you will not die. I shut the mouth of the grave concerning you. I shut the mouth of the grave concerning you. Every conspiracy by hell, whether in your place of work, to bring you down, to stop you from rising, so that your glory be turned to shame, the spirit behind it lives now. In the name of Jesus. My final prayer for you. Listen carefully. You see this thing we call anointing, eh? It's not oil, oh. I hope you know that. 
Oil is only a representation. Because if you rub that oil on your head, you will go and take your bath and you will clean it away. Are we together now? Anointing is not just oil. It is an engracing from God that makes you command results only God can produce. It is impossible to be anointed and produce results at a human frequency. The assignment of the anointing is to elevate you to a realm of possibility where the result that comes from you, it becomes clear and unmistakable that this is God walking through a man. Can I release that grace on you? The grace for extraordinary results. Results beyond human comprehension. Receive that anointing now. Receive that empowerment now. Receive that empowerment now. By reason of this prayer, I call you a sign and a wonder. I call you a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. So shall it be. Beginning from now. So shall it be. All through the 12 months of this year. In the name of Jesus. You will not fall. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.